सो ग्रीटिंग्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी हाउ टू एड द जम्प एनिमेशन सो आई होप यू हैव वॉच द प्रीवियस पार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट इज फॉट वी हैव डन सोफा सो दिस इज अवर प्लेयर मूवमेंट दिस इज द रन एनिमेशन राइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ टू एड द बैक ड्रॉप hold down the control and drag so it will add the backdrop here you can change the color and name also so let's start with the jump animation so for that we need the axis first go to edit project settings under here here is the jump under input manager and axis so just change the gravity and sensitivity to 3 so let's add the node for it it's on button input right so write down here the axis name which is the jump so next thing is adding the velocity so the node is set velocity 2d so here is the x and y but we want to set the velocity for y axis so let's create vector 2 and for y we will need some value here. we will create that one into the variables so just create here the jump force which will be integer and let's make the value to 5 drag it and add it to i for x we will need the actual velocity of player while he is moving into the x so get that velocity to be one and again we need the x so this is it let's check Okay, it's working, but as you can see, it is also jumping into the air. So we need to do the code for that. So let's quickly make that one. So for that, we will need the node called physics to be. It is box cast. So so under here, physics to be box cast with the layer mask. so as we are going to set our platform on a layer so let's add the layer and so assign it again from here so let's connect it to here so here are some inputs so for the origin we will add the gate position Rigid body 2D gate position and for size we will add the box collider size here it gets gate size for direction as we want our so what this node is doing it is casting the rays so we want to cast it into the negative y so let's make it negative one. This is the x input and this is the y. For distance, it can be point one. And for layer mask, we will add the platform layer. Also, we need to add the offset here because this is the actual position and this is the offset. So let's add that one. so for that it is also the box into the box collider gate offset here it is we need to add this to to disconnect any node just right click so here it 
it's so next here is one output so it is of getting the colliding information which is the gate collider so let's plug it so we will first debug the message we will see what message it is giving to us so let's check that first so here it is working but as you can see here if I jump from the platform it is saying the platform and if I jump from there it is showing null so the logic behind this is if this collider information is not equal to null then only it will jump so for that we need the condition of not equal so here it is the float return and we need the if condition here and plug this condition here so this is what we needed for this so let's check okay this is working fine so let's add the animation for the jump one more thing is the subgraph node we can merge these all node into the single node by adding the subgraph and then then we will all need all these nodes so let's select all right click cut selection and double click on subgraph and paste it here so here are two nodes input and output so for input double click to maximize the panel for input let's add the connection first Okay. for output also so we need also one more output here to add this conditioning so it will add it through the data outputs plug it here and this one goes here so this is our subgraph to exit this one just click on the character here here is the subgraph and here is the character so you will get only one node for this so let's quickly create one animation for the jump So for the animation click on the character sprite animation and create new clip this time it will join so for recording let's here we have the jump frames from 1 to 10 start the recording mode click on first hold down the shift and click on 10 drag them here and stop the recording change the sample rate okay, this looks good also one more thing is to okay let's first add the script only. here we will add the animation for that we will need the parameter first 
so here we get the state jump state so let's connect them right click and make transition so let's first create the parameter which will be the bull this is jumping so here we get the two connections this one goes from idle to jump click on this line and here uncheck this under settings make transition to zero and under the condition add the jumping one which will be true for this line for this connection it will be false also change the duration and uncheck this do the same for this this will be true and this will be false so let's jump into the script draft now so for node it is said bull with the name and just write the name of the parameter which is jumping connect it here we need to set the sprite ref here which we added to the variables this one and for the condition we will need the same condition which is into the same subgraph so just duplicate this one plug it into the condition so let's see Okay, something is going wrong. Let's turn off the loop first. Go to project under animations. Click on jump and here is the loop. Uncheck this one. Okay, this is not connected. Just connect it. On the character, need to do the same here also. So let's see now. Okay, something is also missing. As you can see, the code is running till here. We need to connect this one also. Okay, as you can see here, it is doing the jumping action when it is colliding with the platform. So we need the opposite exactly. So let's stop this one. We need to flip this condition for that. The node is called negate as you can see here let's connect it here okay now looks all good let's see now Okay, it is doing the action and also everything is okay. So this is for today. So till then take care and see you.